Hey y'all, today we have a Shimano TLD25 that uh, won't go into freeze pool. Uh, so like most of my other um, repair or, or diagnosis tutorials, if this is something that's already been covered, you won't see it. But if it has not been covered, then you will see the video. So hopefully it's something new. Uh, it certainly can be, but there's not ma ma many more things that I can cover with a TLD. So let's see. So anyhow, it does this, stays in this, our engage mode, turn it down, and it's still engaged. This has popped out slightly, so we know that there's something happening uh, here or along the shaft somewhere, or that's at least the hope. So the first thing we're going to do is pop this off. Now obviously, since it's not disengaging, we're going to kind of break the rules sort of to get this off, but we have to take it off either way. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to check here would be uh, this piece, which is the body. Uh, I like to call it the uh, the follower. And I want to see if that uh, that square in there is squared off and not uh, rounded or something, which is what could be causing that issue, or one of the one of the things that could be causing the issue. Which this is not. This looks pretty good. So we know it's not that, or we don't believe it's that. So. I have to dig a little deeper. The gradient on this looks okay. It's always hard to tell on these things, but I don't think that's the issue. So we're just gonna go inside the reel. I'm not gonna take this handle off. Uh, so I'll speed this part up. I'm just take off the um, this guide here and then open the reel up and look inside of it. check uh, kind of along the shaft area is what I'm going to do uh, but I will take a gander here just to see if there's anything okay with this and that pin inside that main gear looks fine so we're just gonna move past that and go here I don't feel any resistance there so I don't think it's that uh, these screws look secure sometimes what can happen is these will get loose on you and they'll kind of just uh, shift back and forth and essentially kind of just lock up the reel. What I was checking for here is if this had some play or no play at all, which would mean that either one of the bearings are kind of seized up or this is just getting locked into the, um, against the drag. But that's also not the case. Um, so, uh -huh. okay. Uh, I can tell you that this is quite a rare occurrence. I uh, don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that housing support where it locks in that uh, this cross pin here has been disintegrated somehow. Uh, if you can see that there or not, hopefully you can. It's, it's on both sides. So it's just kind of um, torn up. So we need to replace the housing. The only way I think that can happen is if, uh, wow, maybe he was trolling and got hung up in a rock or something and the drag was set tight and instead of this breaking off, it sheared that inside there, maybe, or even if, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, that's what I can really think of. Anyhow, so that's it. We got to replace the entire uh, housing here. So I'll take all these pieces off and put them in the new housing. All right, guys, that's it. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, here's the pieces, obviously, as you can see coming out. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you appreciate content like this. And I will see you all next time.